Joel Lade reporting live for the Israel News Agency from the Facing Tomorrow Conference in Jerusalem, Israel. With me is Mr. Aryeh Green, the director of Media Central. Aryeh, thank you for being with us. It's a pleasure. Glad to be here. What can you tell us about Media Central? Well, in one sentence, Media Central is an organization based in Jerusalem which provides services to all the foreign press who are either visiting or based in Israel. And this is something which, in fact, Israel, the government, and other non-governmental organizations have actually never done. We provide information, we criticize the media for when they uh, maybe are less accurate than they might be, but providing services to help them develop a more nuanced understanding of the reality which is Israel and our history and the conflict and the society, something that we've never really done, and, and that's what we do. So you're providing a, a public relations image solution for the state of Israel? <laughs> well, in fact, we're not an advocacy group. What we're doing is actually helping journalists to achieve their own goal of reporting more accurately about the reality of what's going on here. So we set them up with Palestinian spokespeople as well as Israeli. We take them to tours, say, of the security barrier where they speak with Palestinians on one side as well as Israelis on the other and understand more about the reality here, which helps them to report more effectively. And where are you located? We're located in Jerusalem, right in the center of Jerusalem, about a five-minute walk from the American Colony Hotel, which is where most of the Palestinian fixtures are located, which basically, and they're helping the journalists to find photographers and drivers and uh, uh, analysts and what have you, and at the same five-minute walk from the government press office. What are your impressions of the Facing Tomorrow conference? Well, I think it's been a very, very important conference for Israel. It's been a very important shot in the arm for Israel in our struggle not only to uh, combat those who would delegitimize Israel and its existence, like uh, Ahmadinejad or, or others, um, but also to a shot in the arm for uh, for us in terms of our looking towards the future and being proud of what we've built uh, to date. I would say the only criticism, if you will, or disappointment I've had in the conference is that it hasn't perhaps been quite as what well, we say in Hebrew or Yiddish, tachlis oriented. It hasn't been uh, quite as uh, solutions oriented as I personally might have liked, but I think that may be uh, a next step, that this was the beginning of the conversation, and hopefully there will be coming out of this not just a continuation of those conversations, but some real proposals for real steps forward to help deal with some of the challenges that a lot of this discussion has, uh, has faced. A few people have criticized this conference for being, quote unquote, a waste of money. What's your response? Well, first of all, I don't think getting world leaders and people who are involved in helping to make the world a better place, which of course is a, a, a very strong Jewish tradition, together to discuss the challenges facing the world today, the Jewish world, the Israeli people, and the world as a whole, I don't think that is or could be a waste of money. And I think that actually the discussions that have gone on here have been very productive. Uh, I would hope that we'll see proof of how productive they've been in the coming six months or a year when follow-on discussions turn into actually follow-on actions. And I'll just speak about one of the sessions I just came from where the discussion focused on the validity or the effectiveness of international institutions like the UN and we began at the end just to touch on some of those actual actions that can be taken by states and by non-government actors and by the Jewish people in trying to help to make those states that are part of the UN, for instance, become more democratic by linking our state's policies to, the, to uh, uh, how democratic or how free other societies are and therefore limiting the influence of Libya, for instance, sitting on the Security Council and preventing the Security Council from acting on issues related to Darfur or Israel or other things. So I think we should see some takli. My well, last question to you is on this occasion of Israel's 60th birthday, what is your message to the Jewish people? <laughs> I would say my message to the Jewish people is we have so much to be proud of, not just in the establishment of the State of Israel and everything that we have accomplished, but also in the message that the Jewish people brought to the world based in our Torah, in, in our traditional understanding of the fundamental dignity of human life and the human race, which was the foundation for all of the foundations, uh, the, the, the basic understanding of human rights uh, in Western society, acknowledged by Rousseau, Kant, Hobbes, Thomas Jefferson and others. That's something that we as the Jewish people should not only be proud of, but I would finish by saying we should take back the banner of human rights as our birthright and to proclaim not just how proud we are of Israel as the only democracy 
in the Middle East, but in fact Israel's record on human rights, which were so often castigated for, is in fact one of the best records of human rights when we look at how we have helped Palestinian society, for instance, to become more free, to respect the issue of the rights to, uh, of women or a free press or freedom of religion, and also our understanding of the importance of this issue from a Jewish perspective can help us to push the free world and our own countries to demand those kind of rights around the world, whether it's in China or Burma or the Sudan. Arya, thank you so much. If people want to get in contact with Media Central, do you have an email address? Absolutely. The best thing is to go on the web to www m as in media dash central dot org m dash central dot org Aryeh, thank you thanks a lot joe thank you